Okay, now on for festival. I've actually mixed my colours off camera because there's only a little bit of battery power remaining on my phone. So, i got to just put the fragrances in and just basically make the soap. So, in the base, which is in this big old bucket here, I have got um, Dead Sea Mud. So it's like a grey colour. And then I've got Australian super fine red clay, then ultramarine violet, then a yellow oxide, and then ultramarine blue. So there's a lot of colours in this soap. And the fragrance, if you don't know already, is um, Night Champer and Patchouli. It's a very hippie, hippie, hippie scent, you know? It smells like um, a new age shop. Just like a new age shop and just like the um, Sai Baba incense that you can buy in the blue, red and white um, boxes. So, let's tip in this base. It's quite fluid. Because again, I've upped the water on all of my soaps. They'll just cure as, um, you know, regular soaps do. Festival has never caused me any trouble, but you never know when it might. I'm just going to mix some of the fragrance into my clay. The red clay, if you apply a water discount with this stuff, then that will accelerate the trace of it. Because it accelerates anyway, because it's clay. It just does that for some reason. Okay, let's get these pores in. Sort of go up and down, round and round, wherever with this one, because it's quite a random sort of soap. And I'll just reserve a bit back for the top at the end again. So I'm making all my soaps pretty much in the same way at the moment. I'm not trying to um, do anything majorly fancy. I'm going to put yellow next because that will be nice against that red. I can really feel the heat coming off of um, Mio Kappa that I just made. So I'll um, let them gel. When I finish this one I'll cover them up with some cardboard and let them gel today. I don't wrap mine in blankets and towels and all that sort of stuff. I just usually don't even care whether they gel or not, but lately I've just been covering them up with cardboard, like flattened cardboard boxes that I've got that for my packing. So I use those. Okay, now we'll go in with the violet, I think. And then the blue, the lovely blue. Okay, so that goes all over the top. I normally do a green with this one, but I've not done that today. smidge of green. So this should make like a tea or green which it has, that's lovely. Yay! I only needed a little bit just to sort that colour out. There we go. Now 
know he has green. Batteries on low again. Okay, so we'll just give that a bit of a swirl in there. Those colours so cool when they go like that all together, like you get sort of stripes. Me likey. Just like a a hippie festival for sure. I love these colours and I love this scent as well. It's still a, a bestseller after years and years of being made. So we'll just get all the rest in. such a lovely vibrant colour, yellow oxide. It's almost like a mango, like a mango colour, like mango flesh, methinks. It's very hippified with this base. Is hippified a word? <laughs> it is now. shops I think a lot of them have disappeared like you used to get tons in the 90s popping up all over the place but there aren't really that many now where you can go and buy your incense and stuff well there aren't in um, around where we live I think there's one up in Birmingham which I used to go to called Evolution I used to love that shop it's so good you could get like the massive garden incense although I can get that in um, another shop called Bailey's Home and Garden they do the really big massive tall sticks of incense and I love that stuff in the garden in the summer. So yeah, but we need more hippie shops. Less supermarkets, more hippie shops and more local little independent shops, you know, that's what I think. Supermarkets have ruined everything. Or ruined what we had, you know, we always to have so much in our towns and it's all sort of seems to have gone in Britain a lot of towns are the same as this one I live in Evesham and a lot of them are the same you sort of you know a lot of them stay beautiful like in the village the villages in the Cotswolds are still really stunning they wouldn't be touched because you, you you know you don't want supermarkets in them but the sort of average sized towns have sort of lost their personal touch and it's all just sort of, you know, Tesco's is everywhere and ugh, it's kind of just ruined. When we were kids it wasn't like this at all. You get like, we had a small Tesco's in town but they weren't exactly like a big company, they weren't like they are today. But, you know, hopefully one day it'll all change back. <laughs> Everybody wants what was what we once had before. Nobody really, really wants all the newfangled business, really. Well, the people that I know don't. It's obviously a call for it in some places because young kids want everything new. They'll realise one day it ain't the way. Look at me going on and on and on. Okay, that's best of all. I'm just going to do those peaks again. And then we've got to 
some flowers to go onto the top that my sister picked last summer, which I used before. I've still got like quite a few of them left, so I can use them again. Nice, those colours are coming from underneath. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh my god, so nice. You know, sometimes you're so pink. Oh, sometimes I just get so into this. piece is always a bit of a problemo. You know, it doesn't look the same as the rest, but be okay now. It's going to look the same, which I don't think they're gonna. I'll have to bring that over a bit more for that side. with it too much I think. I've got to be careful. Okay, before it ruins all the colours I'm just going to stop and sprinkle on the flowers. Um, I've got a big bag of them. sprinkle them on properly. There's some clover and some buttercups and daisies and yarrow. Oh my god. I actually wasn't looking forward to making this soap today but it's gone really really nicely. It's just the it's there's sort of a lot of colours in it so it's the cleanup. Oh, I don't like the cleanup. It's like too many, too many pots and pans, you know. Like that bright yellow is so pretty, so pretty. makes me want the summer to come quick when I make this. It's that easy, easy days where it's just, the living's easier, isn't it? Just like the Billie Holiday song. It really is easy living. I like it. And the evenings where you can just sit out in the garden and while away the hours. But I have noticed recently the nights are getting really a lot lighter when I'm leaving the workshop. Sometimes I leave about half four and this last week I've really noticed how it's it's not dark, like it's not completely dark at that time. Whereas all throughout the winter and before Christmas and before the solstice it's it was so dark. But now, now it isn't. It's getting a lot lighter so... That's cool. Okay, I think I've finished. Just put a few more yellow bits in there. And little, like little marigolds, I think. Some of those. 